What's up YouTube, it's Nathaniel Green and welcome to King Badoja's Effects. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create simple animation using poses and then also saving your animation so you can use it in future projects. I kind of already made a video going over a lot of this stuff except I left out saving your animation and also how you can incorporate poses to create different animation. That's what this video is all about. It's an updated version. So um, with all that said, let's get started with the tutorial, shall we? All right, we got our alien. His name is the exile. Make sure he's highlighted. And let's go to some poses for him. Let's click out of here. All right here, poses. Double click that. And here is his poses. Not animation, poses. Okay, and we're going to get ready to start selecting um, parts that we want to um, animate. So what I'm doing is I'm on Windows, so I want to hit hold on control. But before I do that, let's hold on control. We want to select bones that we want to animate. So that's all I'm doing and just hitting the right click. It's the neck. And you want to hold on to that because if you don't, you won't be you won't be able to select multiple bones as you see what I'm doing right there okay let's check this out real quick wait his feet slide and that's not cool let's edit and do that let's do it again real quick hold on control and select Let's get his neck. Hold on, we're... All right. Yeah, here. All right, that looks good. Let's check this out. All right, much better. All right. Now, like the first video I did, I kind of showed you how you can kind of build your animation up from something like this. But what I forgot to mention is you can actually start using poses. So let's just click on this pose, for example, right here. Check that out. Everything is still selected. But now, you have less work to put him in this position with the bone still selected. You know. Cool, right? Now let's begin actually animating so I want to get about least let's just make it three seconds worth of animation and um, you can actually hit play and then stop it and then move him or you can just kind of just drag it to where you want it and then you can kind of move this little ball this ball is like a little rotation it's a um, it moves basically selected items so as you see that's how I'm kind of animating him and it um, collect all that information into a keyframe. Drop it here, and let's create another one. Let's move um, uh, looking that way. You see another keyframe. Gets to here. And um, also, you can also like, for example, when you get to here, you can uncheck bones, and then you know, do it that way too. That way it would probably take a little, a lot longer. I, I just like to do it like this. Keep everything selected. And then once you have all that, you can actually play it. And if you don't like certain things like, if you don't like certain things, like for example, you don't like his hand that high up, you can kind of always, I'll grab this little bone tool so you can and then, then we can actually click out of here now and we can actually start auto adjusting, tweaking it, making it to our likings. So then when it gets here, maybe you want this hand kind of. OK, moving that way, see, and it's still collecting keyframes. 
and you can um, actually and then you can start over and then you can go to your expressions you know and you give them expressions and build up your animation making it boss but um, yeah that's pretty much it of that let's actually now get ready to save it what you want to do is under here this little gray area right click it and then you want to click bake to studio keyframes click yes let's check our timeline make sure we got all, all of our marks go back to animate now we want to click in here again right click it this time you want to create any blocks from studio keyframes we want to select transform you want to scale it and morph it click everything and click done right now we want to rename our anti-block so what you want to do is hover your mouse arrow over it right click click rename I'm gonna call it look around click OK now it's two ways you can save it you can actually click here click on it that will bring up this little menu um, don't click that that'll delete it that's the trash can you want to click this little floppy this area right here see it says save new any block once you click that it will automatically be saved inside here and then you'll be all good and you can uh, go to it anytime you want but the problem with that what I don't like is it's not really in the folder I want to create him his own folder so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click here save for legacy anime now you see this is the menu actually inside here if you would have clicked here these are all the folders I want to save a folder for him this alien is called the exile so I'm gonna make a folder by right clicking new folder and I'm gonna call it the exile that way I know where all of his animations are and then click here now we want to double click on his folder and we're inside his folder and let's save look around inside save oh yeah now we have it saved now we can actually delete this because we have it and let's actually delete him and bring him in again let's bring him in fresh in his t-pose Okay. All right, we have him inside in this T pose. Let's click here, animate, and let's find that folder that we created called the Exile. Where is it? Let's see. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. Clicked on it. Look around. Double click it, and there it is. He got a little problem though he's floating that's an easy fix don't worry about it before we fix it right here where it says um the end let's auto um adjust this so you want to right click right there auto adjust that'll bring it to the end and let's bring this all the way to the beginning and we're gonna actually put him on the floor because as you can see he's floating so once you have this all the way at the end you want to click here to edit figure move to floor he's on the floor now now we want to actually resave this while he's on the floor so you don't have to put him on the floor every time you click on it so let's um right click save as new go to the exiles folder and let's save do you really want to replace yeah we want to replace the old one with the new one yes now let's actually click out of this again delete it let's make sure okay now we're gonna actually let's click out of here let's do something let's click out and let's click back on okay the exile now let's now he's on the floor and that's how easy it is let's actually before we do that let's play it there you go there go the animation we just created that's how easy it is to create animation from poses and then save them you know auto adjust all them goodies that's how easy it is hope this video was useful if it was comment like and subscribe 
And like always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.